Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We are back on our homestead property. We are. It's a little later in the morning. It's like 10 o'clock yeah. and we have been getting started. But uh, we decided we would have a nice breakfast, take it slow this morning. Really, our main goal is to finish getting this water line in. Mm -hmm. We have two more frost freeze and getting hooked up yeah. up at our junction. And that's our main goal for today. Well, we have, if we get that far, we're going to test it and see if the actual water comes out and we have no leaks. That's that's <laughs> right. She's absolutely right. That is what we're going to do. Main objective. Uh, main objective. No yeah. leaks, water, everywhere it needs to be. Um, but then we're going to do some errands. We've got to go grocery shopping. We're going to do some other stuff. So we'll only be on the land here for part of the day. Yeah, so... So the dogs are doing a little exploring. Mm -hmm. It is starting to get hot, so I'm just going to jump right on it, guys, and see if we can bang this project out. All, All right. right. Let's get to it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, guys. So if you saw in our last video, this is about where we left off. I'm going to cut my line down, get my frost free in, and then... And then we're going to continue up this way with the next uh, coil of water line. So we're going to put together our last frost free. Comes with a little plug. I got a galvanized end. This is going to go in the frost free. This polypropylene connector. We'll go into that. My holes will go into this. So we're just gonna get it going. So what I'm doing here is just putting on some Teflon tape or plumber's tape. And this kind of ensures that it doesn't leak through the threads and makes for a nice solid seal. And then you just take this, carefully, thread this in. Now that, that plumber's tape will not keep you from getting this to go in, although I seem to be having a lot of trouble. That's not what it does. There we go. I just had to catch the thread. Okay, make sure it's angled the direction you want it angled in. And that'll do it. Again, we're going to put our nipple on. You always want to use some Teflon tape where it's threaded. Now this Teflon tape, you can get it in a, that you put on in a brush and it's like a paste too. But I'm not a big fan of that stuff. It uh, makes a big mess. This is much easier works very well. And we're just going to take our pipe wrench. And we're going to tighten it in. if I can get my hands to work today. There we go. Just make sure. That looks good. We're going to grab our T-joint, we're going to go out and we're going to try and get this hooked up.
Perfect. Let me get my piece cut off the next coil that's going to go to our frost free. We'll get that set up. All right, so we're just going to put the hose on the frost free. There we go. I'm going to put our clamp on. Now we can set this down. Anywhere, doesn't matter. It's got to be closer over here, so we can hook it up. There we go. All right, we're just going to hook this to our T now. All right, so we have our T connection hooked to our frost free. All we got to do is lay it in the ground, run this wire, this hose out. Next stop, junction box. We're at the water supply. If you look down here, you can see that PVC pipe coming out from under the bucket. Inside that bucket is another shutoff valve. When the guy who put the septic put the frost free in, and that was only two weeks ago, he put this bucket in over our last shutoff valve. He could have just left this all exposed so I didn't have to dig it up, but it is what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach down in here and I'm going to mark this black line right there. And I'm going to cut it and I'm going to put this barb with this PVC fitting on it and clamp it on and then I'm going to glue it to my supply line. So I'm going to put our clamp, I'm going to put our barb. Those are always so hard to get on. They are hard to get on. <laughs> I think this is the worst part of the job. It is. No leak at that one. Let's walk down and check for leaks. Okay, here's the first coupling. I don't see any water in there. Nope, it looks good. Okay, here's our first T. That looks good. Yeah. Let's go check okay. our frost free. Good. That all looks good down there. I don't see any water. Let's try it. Do we have water? <gasps> I hear water. Let the air out. Oh, look at that. We have water. <gasps> we have oh, water goodness. on our property. <gasps> Cold water, too. Cold water. Oh, yes, that feels good. All right, so here we come to our next frost free. Let's take a look. That looks nice and dry. Yep, everything looks good. Watch out, Bailey. No water leaking down there. No, let's try it here. Let the yeah. air out. Oh, and oh, oh there's the water. That. Awesome. All right, so we are coming up on our last frost free. That junction looks fine. No leaks. No, let's check it. And water. Oh, and water.
a lot of air to let out. Yeah. Oh, this is the first time we're running water through it. There we go. That was a steady flow. All right. Stop wasting it. Turn it off. Okay, wow. It's hot. It did get very hot today. But <laughs> it's not lost on us no. that we have water. Yes. Well, on our homestead. No leaks. No and, leaks. Yeah. And we installed that water. We did. And Missy said to me yesterday, was it yesterday? No, the day before. I think it was the day before. Day before yesterday, when we were working on the sauna tubes, she looked up at me and she said, We're building our house. That's right. And and we were really working hard to get to this point. Yeah. And it got lost on me that we're building our house. We're bu we're building our house. Yeah. We're not contracting someone to build mm -hmm. our house. We didn't call in a foundation company. No. We didn't call in a water company. Now, we did have somebody install the septic system. Mm -hmm. By state law, they need to. Yeah. You got to have a permitted guy. Yes. But we're also going to build our own house from scratch, from the logs that you see behind me. Yeah. And the county also put the main water line. The meter in. We, the meter, we had to run our line onto we, our land. Onto our property, that's yes. correct. So, so we're probably going to leave it here, but you guys won't see this probably until the 4th of July. So from us to you, yeah, happy, happy 4th, 4th of, of July. July. And have a great day. All right, bye guys. Bye guys.